But yeah, no, this is, it's, it's fun to, you know, stay at home. And I still feel like I, like I dress up for this and then I'm, you know, here in my room. But, but also a positive is you only have to dress up the top half, you know, the bottom half, yeah. just big wave yeah. pajama bottoms. It's great. I'm already naked. Know it. <laughs> Excited. I never knew why Daddy Mac was so wow. mean to Uncle Frank. He was the kind of person I wanted to be. Smart and funny and considerate. You're going to be the person you decide to be. Or you're going to be the person everyone else tells you are. You get to choose. Guys, I, I absolutely adore Uncle Frank. I thought it was such a beautiful story. Uh, when you get the story presented to you and you get told what characters you're going to play, what's your reaction um, when you first hear the story and read the words on the page? Well, when Alan gave me the script first time, I remember like I was crying my eyes out on the script and I read it again and again and again. And every time I would cry, it was incredible. Every time I would cry. So on paper, the, the script was very emotional. And in terms of my part, I mean, it was kind of uh, weird because I'm not used to play parts like that. I'm always offered like parts to, that are intense and edgy and sort of conflicted and whatnot. And it was like sort of a, a nice fresh start to do something very light, at least on the surface, uh, because it was a break from whatever I had done before. And that was kind of neat, I thought. Frank, don't tell me you were coming. That's because he doesn't know. He doesn't know. Oh, well, okay, this is going to be very exciting. Um, I love the dynamic which uh, was portrayed on screen for you guys. You know, it's not it's not predominantly a road movie, but uh, those scenes where you're traveling along and just having a laugh in the car, like sometimes it's it's easy to tell you're not faking that. You're generally having a good time whilst driving across America, weren't you? Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. It, was, it was really very easy to shoot these scenes, thank God. Um, so I just had to look at Sophia and talk to her, basically. And it was really very spontaneous, very genuine, um, it was great. I mean, I love those scenes. I, I'll, I'll always cherish them for the rest of my life because it was so easy to do. It was so hard not to laugh at Peter. <laughs> <laughs> he's just, he's a really funny person. I can't. I, I couldn't stop laughing at him the entire shoot. Um, Perfect. Yeah. In a good um, way. And then, and then, and then, and <laughs> not, not because of acting. I just, you're generally like happy person and it was nice to have that on set so yeah <laughs> Sophia I loved uh, your character at one point says to, to Uncle Frank you know, that conversation changed my life is there a conversation that has changed your life or is there an Uncle Frank figure in your life that someone is like poof that's just changed me well, I mean, Uncle Frank's, you know, they change throughout life as you grow and grow up. I mean, they, you know, it's not just one person, but I remember my first Uncle Frank was my sister, Laura, and she was like sort of my mentor. And, uh, you know, she would buy me a book every week that I would read and and cherish those uh, these times with her, you know. So, uh, but that changes, you know. That right now, uh, I'm Uncle Frank to other people, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Sophia, who's, who's your Uncle Frank? Who's changed your life? Um, that's so hard. It's so hard to choose because uh, um, every member of my family uh, so is so, you know, uh, supportive of uh, my job and everything. And they, they, they help they try to help as much as possible. Uh, so I, I, I usually say I'd say my mom. Uh, because she, she's, you know, the most involved in my life because she has to be. Um, and she, you know, comes, goes along with me, um, and to my jobs and she travels everywhere. And I guess we have our own little uncle Frank adventure every time we, we go somewhere. Cause she's, she's stuck with me, uh, <laughs> whether she likes it or not. Um, and I think that's brought us closer. So, uh, yeah, I'd say, I'd say my mom. Oh, 